trapped for three years to a giraffe with a hideous broken neck. Here are 10 animals who survived the impossible. Damn, nature, you scary. Number 10. A group of drunken men slaughtered at least 10 harmless wombats at a campground in New South Wales. But one baby wombat somehow managed to survive. The incident happened at the Kangaroo Valley Campground in the Shoalhaven region. Witnesses say they saw a group of men drinking before getting into a four-wheel drive vehicle and running over the marsupials. The men drove off and have not been located. But following the rampage, a single baby wombat was found and was the sole survivor of the incident. It's expected to receive care for at least a year before being returned to the wild. Appropriately enough, the little marsupial was named Lucky. A man in Texas was driving home at speeds of 70 miles per hour when he saw a flash in front of his pickup truck and felt a bump underneath the vehicle. Andy Somerville thought nothing more about it after he arrived home. The next morning, he was shocked to find that a red-tailed hawk was lodged in his car's front grill and the bird was still alive. In the pictures, you can see how the animal's wings are trapped in the grill, causing it to hang suspended from the SUV's hood. Mr. Somerville immediately called the Wildlife Center of Texas, who arrived to save the bird of prey. Veterinarians said the animal suffered only bruises from where it was caught, no broken bones, amazingly enough, and expected it to be flying once more within six weeks. A young elephant named Chauk was found in a Cambodian jungle with his left front foot caught in a poacher's trap. Although the animal was rescued and taken to a wildlife sanctuary, he lost about seven inches of his leg. A director at the sanctuary took the animal to the Cambodian School of Prosthetics and Orthotics. Doctors there normally work with human patients who have lost limbs to landmines and other weaponry. A prosthesis was created from a type of plastic resin, soft on the inside while firm on the outside. Chauk is now five years old and is on his fourth false leg, having outgrown the previous three. While the prosthetic leg allows Chauk to walk with a degree of normalcy, the elephant can never return to the wild. He lives at a wildlife rescue center outside of Phnom Penh. A gray seal pup caught in a mesh cage washed up at the Isle of May National Nature Reserve in Scotland in 2011. The incident was caught on video by cameras belonging to the Scottish Seabird Center. Onlookers witnessed the pup's mother remaining there as freezing waves crashed about them. After more than an hour of struggling, the pup was able to free itself by squeezing through a gap in the mesh. The escape act prompted the staff to dub the seal Houdini. But while Houdini got away, it's not 100% sure he survived. The body of a seal pup was found among the flotsam shortly after. No positive ID was made, but we choose to believe Houdini escaped alive. A nine-year-old feline named Copper actually survived a fall of 14 stories from an apartment building in New York City. The cat managed to squeeze through the narrow window and slipped out of the building. Cats are prone to falling because of chasing after birds or insects. The ASPCA refers to the phenomenon as high-rise syndrome. Animals who receive medical attention immediately after a fall have a 90% survival rate. In Copper's case, the cat not only survived the 14-story plunge, but suffered only a fractured foot. A dog shocked workers at an animal control center in Florence, Alabama. The beagle mix was scheduled to be put down and was ushered into a box roughly the size of a pickup truck bed. The stainless steel box was filled with deadly carbon monoxide gas. But while other dogs in the box died, this canine walked out unscathed and wagging his tail. Only three dogs have survived being inside that small gas chamber, according to workers at the animal control center. They speculate the dog may have survived thanks to having a cold that may have resulted in the animal taking shallow breaths. Another possibility is that the chamber was not completely airtight, allowing enough gas to escape to aid the dog's survival. Workers later christened the animal Daniel after the biblical figure who survived the lion's den. Daniel was later taken to 11th Hour Rescue, a nonprofit animal organization in New Jersey, and put up for adoption.
Tardigrades. The tardigrade has been found in extreme environments throughout the world, from scorching deserts to high mountains to the deep oceans. A new species of the animal was even discovered in Antarctica. It was found during a trip to Victoria Land, some 5,600 kilometers south of Australia. The recently located creature is differentiated by its reddish-orange coloring and its hairs. The new species of tardigrade proves that these animals can survive in freezing environments as well as in Endure intense pressure, extreme radiation, poison, and dehydration. They've actually been frozen and brought back to life after three decades. Did you know tardigrades have even survived the vacuum of outer space? Less than one millimeter long, they're also called water bears due to their distinctive appearance. In 2014, an extreme adventure team from Sweden took part in the grueling 430-mile Adventure Racing World Series in the Amazon. During a break at the campsite in the Ecuadorian jungle, a stray dog approached them from the rainforest. The dog was muddy and bleeding. The team had no idea how the animal wound up there or managed to survive the hostile environment. They fed the dog and figured it would return to the rainforest. Instead, it became attached to the humans and would not leave them. They named the dog Arthur, and from then on, Team Peak Performance had a new canine member. Arthur stuck with them and completed the race. He trekked through mud and swam beside the kayaks. The dog's entire story is still unknown, but it does have a happy ending. Arthur was adopted by a team member and taken home to Sweden. Did you know a lion in Tanzania's Makumi National Park got his head caught in a snare and was trapped there for three years? The young animal was spotted at the park in 2009 and unsuccessful efforts were made to rescue him. Officials said the park's vast size and varying terrain made it difficult to pinpoint the animal. As the years passed, the wire snare around his neck became tighter and tighter as the animal grew, ensuring a slow and agonizing death. A gaping wound was created that became infected and attracted flies. Incredibly, the lion managed to stay alive thanks to his brothers and sisters in his pride. His siblings fed him with prey they had hunted. Normally, a weakened male lion would be killed. Finally, in 2012, a rescue team managed to free the animal from the snare after driving off members of the pride trying to protect him. It was a delicate procedure. The snare had been deeply embedded in the animal's flesh and skin had actually healed over it. Bolt cutters were used to snap the wire cable and finally free the beast. Follow-up reports indicated the lion was regaining weight and his wound was healing. His mane was growing back over his neck and shoulders and he had rejoined his pride. No matter what it may look like, this creature is not photoshopped. This male Maasai giraffe at Serengeti National Park in Africa had his neck broken while fighting a rival over a female mate. To win the favors of the female, these animals will stand side by side and push at each other to prove who is the strongest. The gruesome injury resulted in the bizarre zigzag shape in his neck. Maasai giraffes can reach some 19 feet tall and are considered the tallest land animals in the world. Giraffes normally eat food from the heights of trees by stretching their necks to the fullest length. But this guy managed to find plenty of food on lower levels on the trees, enabling him to survive for over five years with that deformity. The creature has amazed park officials and tourists alike. Animals suffering injuries of this magnitude normally die in the wild without medical treatment or are killed by predators. This giraffe simply stayed in the park, found a way to adapt to his ghastly injury, and survived.